Good morning, folks. Good Friday morning. We made it. We made it to the end of another week. I'm getting ready here now to, uh, to do my usual commute to school. And it is, as I said, it's Friday. It is December the 2nd today, I do believe. It's around 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And the temps right now is a minus one. And it's supposed to get up to a, a plus two today, a bombing two degrees. It's quite slippery here on my driveway because we had a lot of rain yesterday evening. And it actually went up to eight degrees yesterday, uh, eight degrees in rain. So now that's all frozen on, our, on my driveway and on the street. So folks, if it's cold, and freezing in your neck of the woods drive very very carefully today on your way to work and home for sure make sure you do that i'm getting ready to pop my garbage out to the curb one one container today so let's do that okay just this one container folks and as you can see you can see the frost and the ice and and down here on the ground next to the garbage can look, it's all ice so like i said uh, you gotta be very very careful uh, walking around in the winter time because yeah, it could be slippery on their feet and then if you fall and break a leg well that's not a good thing that's not a good thing at all uh, we don't want anyone to fall and get hurt this time of year with christmas just around the corner too hey second of december christmas is only 23 days away you know so let me get that out a little bit, a little bit further for the garbage man okay so there it is right at the edge off my driveway. Now, I recorded a clip yesterday, and I'm gonna have that next on this video, uh, as to uh, why I'm taking Miss Betty's rig and not and not the Silverado. Um, we, we, we're gonna need to talk about that. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a chat about that this evening. But right now, uh, before I take off, I'm gonna need to, here's the key fob from Miss Betty's car. So I need to make sure it's locked. Okay, and then I need to start it up with the remote control starter. I gotta try to figure this out. I think that's the one. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna let the car warm up a little bit before I take off. The windshield is off full of frost. Yeah, so the windshield is off full of frost, so that's gonna need to come off. Uh, so we'll do that. And then I'm gonna be taking off for my commute to work this morning. Uh, from Gander to Hare Bay. About an hour's drive this morning. So I'll take my time and I'll get there. And when I get to that usual spot, uh, I'll probably stop there as well and, and do a little short clip. By that time, uh, the daylight will have uh, will have broke, dawn will have broke, and we'll be able to see a few things. Good morning, folks. Gary here from GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Welcome to December. It is December the 1st this morning. It is Thursday, and tomorrow I will be bringing you my 13th week, my last 13th week video, and I'll be explaining lots of things in that video tomorrow, like why I had to take Miss Betty's rig today to work. And Miss Betty's rig is right over my shoulder there, as is my Silverado, but I have to take Betty's rig for a reason. And I'll explain that tomorrow, but for now, I'm heading off to my school in Hare Bay for a full day of teaching, folks. We'll see you in the next video very, very shortly. Take care. Here, stopping by my usual, my usual spot here on my way to school this morning, this beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning, December the 1st. Today, I have Miss Betty's vehicle today, folks, for driving to work. I'm here, as I said, in my usual, usual spot, heading into Hare Bay, a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's around 7.30 a.m. now on December the 1st. A beautiful morning, as I said. Uh, I'll stop by here again tomorrow and uh, and just uh, show you what it's like in this little spot on my way to school. Beautiful morning here now, though, folks. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's another beautiful morning, folks. December the 2nd right now. And it is around quarter after 7 a.m. The temps have warmed up a little bit. It is around 1 degree right now. Uh, and I'm just outside of Hare Bay here now. Just look at the beautiful blue sky this morning. A beautiful, beautiful morning on my way to Hare Bay for my last teaching day for this week. My last 13th week, folks, coming to a close. I'll have another chat with you later this afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Enjoying this, uh, this reprieve from all the stormy, snowy, slippery it weather. It is Friday afternoon now around 3.30. We made it through. We made it through my last 13th week of school. I'm actually parked right now 
just outside of Harabay, close to Gamble, in that same, same usual spot that I always park. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the big sky that's here this evening. And I want to chat with you about this week. This is the usual spot that I stop most mornings to have a little chat with you and, uh, and discuss the temperature and the commute on my way to work. But today, I'm stopped at the same spot. I'm on the opposite side of the road, though, to show you what it's like this evening. That big, beautiful sky there, folks. Just take a look. Isn't it gorgeous? And folks, I want to talk to you about why I'm taking Miss Betty's car, Miss Betty's rig, back and forth to school now for the last few days. And in fact, folks, I'm going to have to take her rig for a few more days yet. And I'm going to tell you all about that very, very soon. But that's going to be a little bit later. Right now, I want to share with you and talk with you about this past week at school. Folks, it was a great, great, uh, it was a great week, a full week with the students this past week, this 13th week, uh, except for Thursday. Thursday for me was a little bit different. I had my very, very last in-service day for the occupational health and safety course that I teach, the OH&S course. So I met for the very last time with my colleagues from all across the province here in Newfoundland and Labrador. It was nice to see and chat with some old friends, some old colleagues that I've, that I've met from over the years uh, while I've been teaching. And it was also a surreal experience too, knowing that I won't be attending any in-services like those anymore in my career. That's kind of like a good thing, I do, I do suppose. I am looking forward to my retirement. Now, with respect to today, Friday, Friday was a great day at my school today, too. The kids got the report cards for term one. And, and term two officially started this week as well, folks. So it was a great, great last 13th week. A very, very busy week, but a great week just Let to show you that big sky again, folks, before we... Uh, before we uh, conclude this video, my last 13th week of teaching video. As I said, I'm just outside of Hair Bay now, on my way home. But just before I conclude this video, I want to do one more clip from the Trans Canada Highway heading home. And I do want to share with you folks the reason why I'm driving Miss Betty's SUV back and forth to work these past couple of days and why I have to do so for the next few days for sure. Stay tuned toward the end of this video and I'll explain all that to you. So I'm just outside of Gander here now folks. I'm about maybe five minutes. 10 minutes from my home in Gander. Um, I just want to do a final clip for this video and and to uh, kind of in a way, uh, bring this week, this my last 13th week of teaching to a close by way of this video here. And to explain to you folks why I'm taking Miss Betty's SUV back and forth to work the last couple of days and for the next few days for sure. I'm having some trouble with my Silverado, folks. My 2016 Silverado now has 310,000 kilometers. Yes, indeed. And the trouble I'm having now is with the transmission. Uh, the transmission is working in first, second, and third uh, gears, but she's not working in the upper fourth and fifth gears, so, so I can't use her very much on the Trans-Canada Highway going at, uh, at fast speeds. Okay to drive her back and forth uh, in town around Gander going 20 and 30 and 40 kilometers, but I'm not going to get much more speed out of, her, out of her than that. So I've got to get a new transmission. The quote I got was $6,200, folks. So I'm going to be looking around to see if I can get a used transmission now. And hopefully, I'll be able to find one very, very soon to, to put into my Silverado and at least be able to use her for a few more weeks yet. I'm not done with my truck, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I love my Silverado, my 2016 Silverado, and I want to use her again, like I said, for a few more years yet. So she's a nice old truck. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll find an, uh, a used, uh, used transmission to put in my truck. But for now, I'm just going to have to use Miss Betty's SUV. I um, want to say again, though, always, always, I want to thank you so much for watching our videos, for sharing our videos, for making those great, great comments that you leave all the time. And of course, 
for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And that's GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Folks, we'll see you again in a few more videos, I am sure. I am sure of that. Uh, Gary here now, signing out. And we will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Gary here on location, folks, just outside of Gander. Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Reporting for GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead.